Alright, let's uh, finish this off. Oh. Kind of feel like this is gonna. This is gonna be rough, isn't it? is like I hate knowing how this is probably going to end just just because of how life is strange one was <laughs> so you'd think no one would make it previously like less, on life is strange it's... before the storm I felt like my dad it's gonna be about something for a while I just I don't <laughs> know what it was <laughs> there is plenty of blame to go around what does that mean you forced my hand this is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? <clears throat> Drew runs off that for truck. David. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is wailing. That infernal <laughs> inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this That'll island. never stop The corners fight. of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Oh, right. <laughs> Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. <laughs> well, this is awkward. I'm just sitting here like, uh... <laughs> I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mm -hmm. mother. Except but the one you saw yeah. at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? <coughs> well, he's not wrong about that, at least. Chloe. Let's 
cool that they're doing it this way. When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Of course. Her teachers, <laughs> her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy <coughs> wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Here for the ground. No, no, little Easter egg things are. Just checking. <coughs> so I proved that breathing is hard. <laughs> when Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. That's kind of an unfair way to look at it. Becoming your father. It's the greatest moment of my life. Can't really just say having so a kid love, is gonna but solve everything. I was still blind. Kind of feel that's a dick thing to do. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah. The need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. Well, addicts are, you know, sick. That, and not no matter what that, happened. I don't know if, like... She would never do anything to hurt you. It's a chemical dependency. That's... I don't think that's how it works. I was wrong. Eventually, <coughs> I saw her. For who she really was. A destructive person. Though I'm not a doctor, so I don't really know these things. I'm just someone who could never be such. I'm just making a presumption. Anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. You saw at the Overlook, Rachel. It was true. We kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. Not after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. I don't know if she can really do that. Or if that's and really she's fair. Scored. It 
pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again, and again, and again, to keep you safe. But maybe Rachel should have known from the start. That's not easy. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. It's but what? now she wants to so see me? So it's like me? custody money, essentially. Yes. But Rachel... It cannot be. Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease. Oh, this again. is actually even dark when I consider that. Even if that's true, but Rachel, Rachel dies could still from... meet her. Oof. And maybe the the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, <coughs> she's referred that money to you. Rachel. It's also... I think I need to lie down. Possible she doesn't... know how to handle it, or... anything. So if season one's going by, it's like... Or anything to go by, it's like, I guess. No. Facing that kind of stuff head on's kinda rough. I presume. <laughs> I texted Rachel like eight times. <laughs> I, I have. Well, wow, shit, everyone's there. Oh, it was Brooke that was doing the other one. Okay. <coughs> that makes sense. Um, which I hear I'm being all philosophical and... <laughs> no one's gonna know what the fuck I'm talking about. Not smoke a bowl and watch Animatrix. That sounds kind of freaky. <laughs> Fixated? Uh oh. the truth when she set that fire what if she'd known everything well I mean I already I, do like her a lot I can't so, leave no. Rachel to deal with this alone the Tempest show feels so far away now it's a wonderful cast and crew you 
you stole the fire, do you? <laughs> this is so painful to look at. Get a big elf sale. If you can incognito tab. How do I incognito tab? How do I clear browser history? <laughs> Needed something lightheaded on that. This seems like a James and Rose bookshelf. I can't imagine Sarah here instead. Wonder what James is thinking right now. Uh, um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. I mean, I've dreaded it. So that that's why her. you never told her. You have no idea what pain doesn't she have Sarah's a right to caused. meet the woman who her gave birth to her? Addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. But. Shouldn't that be up to Rachel to decide? Rachel is curious and determined. <coughs> She's always going to want to know more. I can believe that. She won't be concerned about her own safety. She never has been. Oof. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, <laughs> put my daughter's safety first. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. A lot of this could have been avoided if this would have come out way earlier. Hard to argue that Rachel would have had a better life with Sarah. But does that make what James did right? I don't really think so. But. Holy shit. Rachel completely destroyed that table. Yeah, Rachel went kind of apeshit on that. Not that I can blame her. I can't even imagine how she must be feeling. Hey, talk to her. Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay. Rose. <coughs> Do you need any help with anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway, door to the left of the fridge. I have never heard the term breezeway in my life. Oh. Hey. Ooh, graphic. Rachel was really getting rid of this? Mrs. Amber, could I have this? Oh, sure, Chloe. Rachel was going to give it away anyhow. Thanks. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Now I can sweep them off their feet. Oh, okay, that... <laughs> that's a bit cheesy. Um... Shit, I actually think I'll pause this for now. <laughs>